Award-winning television director Linda Mendoza has collaborated with many well-known actors. I have worked with Tina, I have worked with Andy, I've worked with Will Ferrell. Being on a first-name basis with Tina Fey, Andy Samberg, and other members of Hollywood's elite wasn't her intention. I never planned on being in the television industry. I mean, I literally fell into it. A sociology major from Detroit, Mendoza was given the chance to work for a record company at its Los Angeles location in her third year of college. But record sales didn't thrive for long. The record business, as we all know, started to really take a major tumble in the um, early 80s. And um, my store started to close and, you know, we were closing stores all over. Desperate for income, Mendoza used her connections to secure her very first job in television. I had a very dear friend from Detroit who had another friend, it's all about who you know, um, who said, hey, they're looking for pages uh, at Metro Media Channel 11, you know, I've, I'm sure I could get you in. And I had no idea what that meant, but Lord knows I needed a job. And so I went and I got hired um, working as a page like Kenneth from 30 Rock, if anybody knows that. After her brief stint at Metro Media, Mendoza was put into contact with a commercial director and worked as his production assistant. This helped her realize she wanted to continue on this career path. That's really, I would say, when my interest peaked in television. A few years later, she was introduced to Bruce Gowers, a prominent TV director famously known for directing Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody music video. It was Gowers who truly helped her learn the tricks of the trade. So I became his assistant and I worked with Bruce for 13 years and that's really where I started to learn really about content and production and what it means to really be a director. But she didn't limit herself during her time with Gowers. There were many other little opportunities that came along, you know, like Saturday Night Live. Despite having an assistant directing job on another major network at the time, Mendoza took a pay cut to work on SNL, a decision she doesn't regret. But it was worth it because I wanted to go and see what it took to put that show up and how they ran a 90-minute live show. I learned so much there. Not only did she learn a great deal, but the show helped her forge connections that led to directing jobs on The Chris Rock Show, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, 30 Rock, and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. But yeah, so my life is six degrees of separation from SNL in a very good way. Because of Mendoza's vast amount of experience, she wanted to go on a college tour to perform her autobiographical one-woman comedy show, Cursed, My Road to Hollywood. She spent the day in workshops with students, teaching them the ropes of a set by helping them stage her show. Mendoza hoped the hands-on activities would help the students realize some important things. It's really about having fun, like how do we put this show up in one day and make it so it's shootable? Um, and make it fun for the kids to understand why we're doing things, you know, why is this lighting cue important? Why is that sound cue important? Many of the participants felt their time with Mendoza was invaluable. Uh, she just has so many stories and so many like opportunities that were brought to her that it's awesome for film students or any of them that have come out today to help with the workshop to like really see that, like you can really come from nothing and build your way up. Uh, Linda Mendoza is a very approachable woman and it's just, it's easy working with her and so I think one thing I've taken in a way is um, just making yourself more personable. Not everything's going to come to you right away and she's teaching us that for sure that um, it's not going to be overnight it's going to be over a long period of time but you will get to where you want to go. A lot of people are surprised that she's a woman and she is the director but she is incredible and clearly has paid her dues and like made her way there for outstanding reason. So it's really, it's it's inspiring to hear her story. But one aspect of Mendoza's personality really stood out for students. She's actually really funny and she's very easy to get along with. Like I actually met her and I didn't even realize it was her at first because she was just very easy going. She's hilarious. She's so funny and she like really takes the time to like joke around and like relate and connect with students so they I don't know it's just she knew all of our names after she yeah I was gonna say it was impressive <laughs> after this trial run at Quinnipiac Mendoza should be embarking on her college tour soon Kelly Novak Q30 Entertainment